you can literally do this just just video alone a one minute video two minute video eight minute it doesn't matter you could do it in less than an hour uploaded seo done and then distribution across your social media channels so that takes about two and a half hours one video is two and a half hours of work for uploading seoing editing and then distribution across seven social media platforms good not nah, man that, that's just time i don't have okay so then you need to figure out what you do have so uh, what facebook, i have been facebook and youtube is what because facebook yeah. is working for you so let me ask you this would you would it be better instead of having my doing uh releasing a video weekly during bug season uh doing it monthly year round i would you're not going to rank the, the, either, the, way. It, either way you, you need to put out the content so you can in other words right now it's you literally have to become an authority but you got to put out enough content that also people want to share with their friends. If, if, if you put out a roach control video and everybody in an apartment building in Knoxville shares it with their friends, that's what you want. This yeah. guy, look at this guy. They're not going to do it. It's too complicated. Mm -hmm. When you show that you got to do baiting and advert and IGR and inspection and monitors and move all this, People are like, let me just call him. So, you, and reality is you're going to get 10% of the people call you that watch your video locally. 90% are going to attempt it themselves, still fail and have to call you. I'll have to the, figure something out because I'm not uh, where we are opposites. You're, you're a talker. I am not. <laughs> but you do great stuff. Your stuff is because good. It's, because it's scripted. Everything is scripted. That's why you're taking so long. Yes. But you know, you know this info. Get out I of do. your shell. Get out of I your do. shell. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I used to I used to script a lot when I first started, but we're talking even when I started preaching. I would script everything out mm -hmm. and 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 bullet point it and all this. Then I started learning how to just make little notes to myself so i didn't come across as i was scripted yeah. so so the whole idea is for you to get out of your shell it, it's really all up here it's oh, yeah. not you know the stuff i mean you passed the ace exam you memorized it you and you, my wife says that if i if you know if I would be perfectly happy in a dark room in a cave by myself for the rest of my life. Cause you're, so you're, talk, you're a little, you're a little introverted. Talking to people is, is rough. Right. Um, so that, I mean, that's why they're scripted. You know? Right. I, I would, I would, I would, I would not spend so I utilize the time that you have in getting the content out versus criticizing yourself to death and overproducing it. Yeah, because it doesn't make it that much better by the overproduction. Remember, people are looking for it, nobody is looking for a long intro when they're looking for how to change that alternator on the car. Yeah, uh, yeah, I've I've already recognized that, and yeah, see, see, and the problem with that was, you know, I've got all this audio and video editing background stuff going on, and so I, you know, if you actually close listen to my intro and outro, there's all kinds of cool stuff going on, and I hate not to share it. <laughs> But but right. I do need to shorten it. Yeah, Sonic branding, it's where it's at. You need to create like something that's memorable, like your the flaming, you know, and the way you designed it, that thing is just like really hot. The the Phoenix. That thing is branded in your head, dude. Yeah. Five seconds oh, and that thing is branded. But before I forget, uh you know, you're talking, you do this uh, these this podcast, the Pest Geek podcast. Uh, what's up with the frogs? What's up what, with the frog? What, what's up with that's the got, frog? That's got nothing to do with anything. Well, it, it's all about the, the the branding of what I want to project in my. Notice, I talk a lot about eco friendly. Yeah, and and about natural and eco friendly and holistic. Mm -hmm. That's what people associate a tree frog with with that, and the whole picture of it is I'm thinking ten years down the line, of where okay. this is going to be. So the frog 
to me came in like, oh, about eco-friendly and stuff. And I was brainstorming. And I said, you know, I'll put a frog with a pair of headphones and talking because that's going to be the top of my market. Most people that listen to me are somewhere in there where they're trying to be more eco-friendly. You know, I don't have this massive audience of people because I don't talk about spray and pray. If I talked about spraying by Fenthrin and all these chemicals, I would have a huge audience of people listening to me. But if you understand, if you've ever read the book Tribes, I'd rather have a faithful audience that's growing versus a massive audience that the day I say something that they don't like are going to drop off like flies because I hurt their chemical. Yeah. So I didn't want to go that route. I went, I, I'm taking the hard road, the road less traveled. I'm like salmon. I swim upstream. I go in opposite direction. Everybody's going because it's more important to have that niche audience even from a marketing perspective, because my numbers are steady versus mm -hmm. you look at other people's numbers, they're going to be like this. Um, and, and when I look at analyze their numbers online, because all their data is viewable, you just got to know how to look at it. Um, then, you know, you can, so we've got a very stable audience that the numbers are constant every week. The more I produce, it grows and they still listen to, if I put it out six days a week, they'll listen to it six days a week. Um, that's my audience. So, the, but the whole branding thing was that with tying in, tying in to Nature Pest, which is my other brand and being, you know, there. Um, but I would, and, and then plus, are you sharing your videos on YouTube? On, on, I'm sorry, on Facebook, or are you uploading them natively? Both. Okay. Yeah. Make sure you upload every single video natively. You get more. I just more, started doing that. Yeah, Facebook. more love. You're going to get more love than if you shared it. Remember, Facebook wants you to stay on their platform. Yeah. They don't want you to leave. So if, if they have to click out, they're not going to give it as much love as if you uploaded a video and it was permanent as a post. Um, so I, I would upload the videos. And, um, and of course, your blogging. Um, I, I would be looking at blogging and putting your podcast um your your videos embedded into that blog and then backlinking it from youtube into the blog um to there because that's going to get you some some link juice to your blog um yeah what i've been doing is uh on and i've, I've got so much to do i know is the uh the blog on the on my website there's a video on youtube with the same content same subject and dropping that uh, into that blog on the website as well right and then just change it up just slightly because you're going to get more content but figure that and remember you don't have to outrank everybody in the world when it comes to that blog um you got to outrank everybody in that area or you know, and, and I bring in traffic from all over the world on, on my blog. Um, yeah. But that's by design. I wanted, we needed to rank nationally and internationally for a lot of the stuff that I'm thinking. Understand that I got a strategy about the future. I mean, we were thinking about franchising. We're still thinking oh. about franchising. If we don't have brand and we don't have recognition, there's no way anybody's going to pay for anything. Um, yeah. So that's part of the strategy. It's just that everybody thinks we're going to do stuff and we're going to make it in the next one to two to three years. It isn't going to happen. I'm thinking 10 years out, you know, about where we need to be. What is it going to take to be there in the next 10 years? And then what's my competition going to be like at that 10 year? It's going to be harder. So it, like I said, it's a competitive sport. I have to constantly think about how am I going to outrank my competition constantly. So that's where I would put in. I, I would set yourself aside. If you can set yourself aside for one hour a day and then start working it up to two hours a day. See, if you were getting the results from the videos and you were getting the result from the blog, you wouldn't be out in the field because you'd be hiring more people. So it's kind of like that. How do I do a little bit of this, but I program myself for two hours a day Cut back on all that on that production quality. Watch how much time you save, and then just 
talk about, you know, like I just see stuff. Like I'm in that mode now where I'm in content mode. Everything I see is content. Yeah. I just, I look, I was out in a yard and I'm doing a consultation on a lawn and I'm walking around with my camera talking about all the problems I see in the landscape. You don't need to script for that. You don't need to script for here is how you identify a roach nesting site. And you're shooting that video in the back of that cabin and you see, see how the little antenna is coming out. Mm -hmm. That's what you're looking for when you're doing an inspection, you're looking for those little antennas. See, when you looked at my, my YouTube, what you don't see is the uh, unreleased stuff of, I've got, you know, probably another 50 videos uh, that I've tagged raw of just stuff that's sitting there waiting for me to do a video on it. Like, like the roach in the back of the cabinet, yeah. you know, deal. Um, Don't take yourself too seriously, bro. Nobody cares. <laughs> nobody cares. Nobody, nobody's going to, I mean, the only, you're going to get more criticism from the people in the industry than you will from the actual customer. Mm -hmm. And I don't care what people in the industry think. I'm not in there to impress them. Yeah. I'm I was waiting to get hammered customer. on that uh, exterminator versus pest control video. I was waiting to get hammered. And, but here's but I, the thing you have to do. You have to put all of your videos, all of your videos, in, in that in that in that setting to where you have to moderate and approve the release of that comment yeah yeah don't allow anybody to comment on your videos i mean i've had people putting porn sites you know links yeah so 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 the deal is if you're going to be you're going to you can criticize me and we can have a conversation but if you're going to be vulgar and you're going to be all that i'm just going to delete your comment that's my prerogative um, yeah. I don't have to let you do that on my channel. Um, so we moderate everything, you know, and I have, I usually go in once a week and I'll release the comments. I don't have time to do it every day. I should do it every day, uh, but I don't, but uh, yeah, man, you've got the knowledge. Take that accreditation you have and use it. How many, how many aces are in your market? I used to be the only one within a hundred miles and then some jerk up in Knoxville got it. <laughs> That's good. Compete so, against him, but he doesn't have a YouTube channel. So now there's, uh, uh, I think there's five or six now. Right. But they're uh, not on YouTube. No. There you go. And, and, and it doesn't matter what everybody does. It's what, what am I doing? So I, uh, you want people to see you in a, in a light that says, this guy is intelligent. This guy knows his stuff. This guy I trust versus do, do I want to get attention? And is the attention really that important? I'd say you play your strengths. I don't care about that. I don't want the attention. Well, you're going to get it either way if you're good. Yeah, I know. And so, so that's, that's, you can't like, oh, well, you know, I'm not like, so I just stick to what I know. Like I couldn't do a lot of funny stuff because I, I can't be funny. I just can't be funny on camera for some reason because my mind is thinking of what I have to say and what I have to communicate. And my mm -hmm. brain, look at how, look at the size of this head, bro. This thing ain't that big. I mean, <laughs> you know, I can't do both. And like, I can be spontaneously funny when something funny happens, but I don't know how to be that comical guy. So I don't play that card. Yeah. Um, I can do stuff when I'm in that funny mode, if I wanted to and do funny stuff, but I just focus on like right now, I just took a slide deck. We're making a slide deck and I've done these before. I did one on house flies and I produced 50 house fly facts. Here's the easy content for you. You want scripted. I created 50 slides. Okay. I release one of them daily on Facebook. Fact number one about house flies. And this is all entomological stuff. Mm -hmm. And then I release it. Right. So now I release it on Facebook. Then I turn it and I make it into a PowerPoint and I put it on SlideShare. And I share it. And then I'm going to take each one of those slides now every day and turn it into a one minute video, 30 second video, five second video. I took 67 Radis Radis rodent facts about Radis Radis. You don't think there's 67 facts about Radis Radis. <laughs> there's your content. Yeah. Hey, this is Aaron with the tip of the day. 
But I thought the short videos were didn't get didn't get love. It's gonna everything's gonna get love. You're judging because you're judge you don't know what people in the world are into. You see, so so you need the national attention because that's gonna make your channel rank. You only care about the one percent that's gonna call you locally. Yeah. You but you gotta give it away to gotta give it away free to the 99% so you can get the one. Mm -hmm. So what what you do is you want scripted talk about a one minute video about one road in fact a day and start releasing a video every day. So here's what I'm thinking. Um, I'm taking notes as to, to do some of these shorter form, uh, what I'd previously called uglier videos <laughs> um, more often and then save the super scripted overproduced stuff for once a month. Often. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Get the con it's more important. Content is king. Consistency and frequency is king. SEOing it right, and like you can you can take like I, I'm taking some of my videos now that are like when my one hour podcast like this, and then I'm chopping them up and putting them on TikTok. One minute videos on TikTok from one little. Yeah. Uh, it takes him one hour to, you know, a two hour video is going to take my tech to go through that video for two hours and looking at everything I said and doing editorial work and saying, Ooh, this is good. Ooh, this is good. See, the thing is what I love about him is he has no pest knowledge. He's looking at it from a consumer perspective. I would yeah. be interested in this. And then he's chopping up the same video. That's one and a half hour long. He's chopping it up into six 20 minute pieces and making new YouTube videos from it with just that piece of content in it. So you don't need to create a whole ton of content. You just need to repurpose it and learn how to use it. Especially if you have experience editing video, you can say, oh, dang, that was good. I can take a one minute piece and make a separate YouTube video from this and just rebrand it because that's going to get views, likes, and shares. Mm -hmm. You see, so it's all about understanding the algorithm under, and then saying, how do I build a strategy? about that and and giving away bro put out all your free stuff start releasing it all of and then just take the pricing stuff take stuff that's permanent start creating stuff for that market for other markets to get into but uh and then sharing daily on on that sharing that material daily on facebook is there a lot of groups in your area for like community groups actually that that's a funny you mentioned that because around the time that um uh, opened uh, a friend of mine wanted me to help admin a local community group and I wasn't thinking anything about the business I was just you know going to help him out and it ended up we've got I think now we have 20 percent of the county in this group um, and for the longest time that was and that was my major uh, source uh, for calls. Uh, and we allow local, small only businesses to, to advertise in the group. Right. Um, so that, that's been huge. That's, yeah. that's really, I, I would huge. focus on education though. That's well, that's what most yeah. of them are. Um, yeah. And, and I've, I've, I made it a point. I, I always, make it a point in my videos to not be, Hey, buy my stuff. Right. Right. You know, um, to just be, here's the information. This is what I ran into. This is, this is the truth. You know, I kind of wanted to do, uh, uh, focus on the dispelling old wives tales and things like that. Um, that, that seemed to often get, get some people yapping back and forth. Yeah. Um, but, but, uh, but I would, I would, even if, even if you created a local podcast, like you're doing, but use, think about it this way, just get into a content mode of action where if you go out and do a job and you saw something that, oh, this would make good content, yeah. then come back and just talk about it on your podcast. Hey, I, I just, I've, I've got a notes of a list of things. See, this is yeah. the, this is my problem. I don't have the time. I've got this huge list of to do videos, 
and I've got that I've got to do. Chip away at it, but get out of the over. The reason that's holding you back is you're going, oh, but I need to, oh, then I need to get into this production mm -hmm. and that's going to take up all my time versus, hey, this, this is what I do. Look, this is my intro. This is how I intro every in the field. I'm going to like, I just did uh, three consultations on, on a site that I'm taking on a new client for lawn and ornamental. Irrigation system was trashed. The lawn is trashed. He wanted to do trees. So I basically do this. Hey, this is Frank the Pest Geek. Check out these palm trees. That's my intro to the show. Yeah. And then I talk about what's going on with that palm tree. And then I'll turn back around and say, hey, I hope you like this video. If you have, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, subscribe below and share it with your friends. That's it. Every single video is exactly the same way. Like my intros are that short. And then I put bumpers on them with the advertising with my brand and that, and then recording it and putting that together in a studio takes five minutes. I do audio. What are you using? Um, Adobe Premiere? Yeah. All right. I, I use podcast setting for everything. And I, and then I check out a little denoising. I don't overcorrect my videos for audio quality because it, nobody's expecting that. It takes me less than 15 minutes to produce every video that I do because I literally am talking my way through what I'm seeing. And that's the experience. I'm pointing things out as I see them. I don't have to create the content. Nature created the content for me. Yeah, that's a, see, that's a nightmare for me. That's like putting me, uh, you know, way out of my wheelhouse coming from the studio where everything, every little teeny weeny thing is, is scrutinized. To Nobody me. cares. I'm, I'm, and I know that, uh, that's just my personality. Yeah. And, and, and here uh, we had, we had a, a, a national, we had a local show that went international that we were producing. The funny part was, when, I, when they said, bro, who's your camera people and how many crews you have, they didn't understand that these were 13 and 15-year-olds doing camera work. Yeah. <laughs> and this show was nominated because we could fix a lot of things in post. Now that I'm doing, I stopped judging everything because I come from that world too, where, hey, this needs to be, and it needed to be exactly 59 it needed to be at exactly 49 minutes and 39 seconds because they had to put all the advertising and, you know, I get it, but on YouTube, Oh, that overproduction actually turns people off. It's like, what are you trying to prove? It's almost like, I just want the info. Just give me the info. You know, it's like fast food. I just want my fast food. Now. I don't care what the color of the bag is. Um, yeah. I just want it. So yeah, bro. It's, 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 you're, you're going to get a lot more productive getting past all that. And just, like I said, I set it to podcast. I tweak it a little bit. I do a little bit of uh, you know, if there's no reverb to mess with and just get that. And I use Here's how, here's how I, here's people are like, bro, how do you get your audio on the phone? Here's how I do it. I cup my phone like this and the camera's pointing that way. And I'm talking like this and it's blocking out all the air and I'm just, and it sounds bassy and everything. That's how I, record everything in the field when i'm doing like this you see me because it, it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be that great uh, i got a 69 dollar microphone that i attached to this thing the video mic me and has the the for wind and i'm shooting all this stuff and wind is like oh but in the beach i can't shoot because and, I, and how many cigars have you seen me smoke on the beach on a windy day and you can't hear a darn bit of wind um yeah so, so yeah, man, it's, it's, it's about getting the content. Uh, I would be looking at, if you're looking into getting into other markets, start getting into those groups, start, you know, teaching people. I exclusion, I find a little I mean, you think about it. It's a one minute video that you found a hole in the wall. Hey, you see this hole right here? Look how your finger fits through there. Yep. A rat's going to get through there. Yeah. If you caulk it, you seal it and you get, and you don't even have to show it caulked and sealed. If you just seal this, and you fill it up with cement or whatever, and you fix this, you're going to stop a rat from coming into your house. Now think about, you got 50 rat videos like that. M micro content, 50 little rat videos about 50 ways rodents got in your house. And you do one for the siding 
and you do one for the water spigot and you do one for the garage and you do one and now you have a hundred pieces of content that people are watching and then you make sure you card them and you do all that correctly to another video that hey if you like this video this one's related to it check this one out and that's how that's it that's just yeah but i'm in content mode all day i mean this everything to me is content everything i look at is is content um there's no other way to for so once you start getting into that mind frame it just becomes so much easier where you don't judge it anymore you're like you know it's kind of like when you had kids you have kids yeah Okay. Remember how many you have? Two. All right. You remember the first one was like, don't touch that and sterilize everything. And then by the time you got the second one, it was like, you know, <laughs> you know, the first one, you're like, you know, oh my God, he's made from glass. And then the second one is like, the first one didn't, I forget that. That was too much work. They bounce. They bounce. That's it. That's how I look at it. It's like, you know, people are like, aren't you afraid you're going to get criticized? I don't care. My, my skin is very thick. Um, it doesn't bother me at all. And, and I'm helping more people than the one guy who's miserable life who, you know, his wife left him, the kid left him, the dog won't even talk to him. And, uh -huh. you know, his life is just miserable. He wants somebody to critique. I can't help that guy. 